Kazakhstan, the largest country in Central Asia, boasts abundant natural oil and gas reserves. Also, geographical advantage being located between China and Europe enabled it to serve as a major gateway connecting the East and West along the Silk Road. Kim Hyesung sheds light on the significant role Kazakhstan can play as a key trading hub for the world. Deserts and a sea of endless peaks of the snow-topped Tian Shan Mountains. It's the Silk Road, an ancient trade route connecting the East and West. And now, a revival. One of the last sections of the Western Europe, Western China Highway linking China, Kazakhstan and Russia has been completed this September. With a new road open, now it takes about four hours by car from Almaty to Horgos, Kazakhstan's border with China. The highway is part of the One Belt, One Road initiative proposed by China in 2013 to recreate the Silk Road by connecting land and seaports, covering more than 60 countries that account for a third of the world's GDP. The 130-hectare Horgos Gateway, lying at the heart of Eurasia, is the second largest dry port in the world. Here at the Horgos Gateway, four to five trains from China arrive every day, shipping all kinds of goods ranging from food to the latest consumer electronics. While the highway is awaiting completion in Russia to officially begin operation, trains have already started shuttling goods between China and Germany along the 11,000-kilometer-long rail route. Shipping them via sea lanes takes up to 50 days, but using the railway requires only around 15 days, increasing transport efficiency. Once the highway connecting China and Russia is open, road travel between the continents is expected to take around 10 days. Having processed 2 million tons of cargo last year, the Horgos Dry Port is working to handle more. Uh, our main goal is to become a uh, regional logistic hub. By the 2020, we'll uh, reach the project uh, like uh, capacity, which is uh, uh, 540,000 TUs per year. Horgos is also becoming a thriving commercial market of its own. At the shared free trade zone, Kazakh and Chinese people can cross the border without a visa and buy goods at thousands of stores, including food, clothes, and even Korean cosmetics, tax-free. I come here from China every day. It's visited by more than 10,000 people a day. Over the last three years, sales have doubled almost every year. Free flow of goods and people. For Kazakhstan, the ninth largest country in the world, the One Belt, One Road initiative is an opportunity to diversify its economy. In landlocked country before, it was very difficult. It's because of the decrease of the cost of logistical cost, the other sectors of economy as a manufacturing became very attractive for the foreign direct investment. And companies like Tongzang are hitching a ride on the boom. We commissioned a third of the road connecting Almaty and Korgos. Kazakhstan is developing rapidly, and with more infrastructure projects underway, there are more opportunities for Korean companies to do business here. Following the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, countries in Eurasia that used to be isolated are slowly reconnecting with the world. At a time when the global economy is slowing down, the new Silk Road won't just make transportation more efficient and increase exchanges of goods and energy resources, it will also drive the global economy and mark an important chapter of modern history. The one trillion dollar, one belt, one road project is still in its initial stages, but a glimpse of that future is already being seen in Horgos, once again connecting the east and west as a vibrant transit hub. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News, Horgos.